I just wanted to make this video to show people how easy it is to hack into Wi-Fi and computers that are on those networks, show you how easy it is so you can protect yourself. The uh, first thing one would need is the uh, Backtrack Linux um, CD and the live CD. So just go to uh, Backtrack, their website, and go to Downloads and Download, set your settings depending on what type of computer you have, 64 or 32-bit, and uh, you can either do torrent or direct if you don't have a torrent downloader. You don't have to put in your own information, just, uh, just click download and save the file, the ISO file, and once you have that, uh, you'll just have to mount that on CD, reboot your computer. But uh, once you do that, go ahead and start a terminal and type in airmonng ng uh, start WLAN 0 and then you're going to want to start uh, your arrow dump dash ng mon 0 and that'll give you a list of all of the Wi-Fi networks that are in your area and once you have a decent amount uh, showing go ahead and hit control C to stop the process and what you're going to want to make note of is the BSSID which is the numbers and the ESSID which is the names of everything so go ahead and type in uh, aerodump ng space dash w space derp space dash c, which is the channel, is uh, 11 for this particular one, space dash dash bssid, which is the number, and go ahead and put that in. And then make sure and top it off with uh, mon0. Now, once this uh, starts going, you're going to wait for that station. See, there's one that just popped up. You can't do this without having a station. So once you get, uh, or make sure that it has a station, uh, go ahead and type in a new window, air replay dash ng space dash one space dash zero space dash a, then the BSSID number and mon zero. Keep in mind, this is for the web in, uh, security encryptions. So anything that's encrypted with WEP, uh, this is the method for doing that. So once you, uh, well, it looks like I, it's prompting me to put in the name. So that's uh, dash E is the, the object and the argument would be uh, the name, the actual name. So <clears throat> type in air replay dash NG dash space dash one space zero space uh, go ahead and put in um, dash E and then uh, you're gonna want to put the the name in and uh, normally the the name would pop up in this top window there it is right there so once you put the uh, the name in go ahead and hit enter and uh, then go ahead and open up a, a new window I guess you could do it in this window but just so you can see everything that's going on I'll open up a, a new um, terminal. And uh, in this terminal, uh, go ahead and type in air replay dash ng dash three dash b, and then put in the bssid number, and then uh, finish it off with uh, mon zero, and hit enter. You can keep in mind in that first window, the data traffic, once you hit this, it's gonna <laughs> speed up and go crazy. Uh, and you're capturing uh, unique IVs with this. So go ahead and open up a new terminal window. And uh, then you're going to want to go ahead and uh, type in aircrack dash ng space the file that you're saving those unique IVs to, uh, which is called derp dash zero one dot CAP. And go ahead and hit enter and within seconds the uh, password is found this is a hex key password so if you're entering it in you have to select when you're connecting to the wireless signal that you want to enter in a hex password if somebody has a WPA or WPA2 encryption on their Wi-Fi network just open up a terminal window and you have to be online in order to do this so you need to apt dash get space update and then apt get install reaver 
I find that you have more results uh, when you turn the Wi-Fi off when you're doing the arrow dump. So go ahead and start your Wi-Fi card, the Airmon-NG start WLAN 0, which will give you a monitor mode, which is MON0. So just type in arrow dump dash NG space MON0, let it load, and then uh, once you find one that's WPA or WPA2, just copy, uh, make note of the BSSID number And then just type in Reaver space dash I space Mon Zero space dash B. Then you want to enter in the BSSID number and then add a space and then uh, dash VV. Now, once you do this, uh, Reaver is going to start and it should take about uh, a couple of hours. I've seen it work in less than 10 to 30 minutes on some freak speed and, and I've seen it take as long as four and a half hours. Uh, but just open up a browser tab if you've got the internet open and I'll show you how easy it is for somebody to dig into your settings because nobody sets the password for their router or at least not usually. So it's just blank in the username and admin as the password and then you're inside of the, the router systems and you can do all kinds of things in there or all the kinds of things could be done to you like rerouting websites to any computer that's on the network so if you're in a uh, um, coffee shop an apartment building anybody can control anything that you're doing so uh, to one of the ways that they can do that is is using the set tool in um, backtrack so I have written down ways that you can do it from the terminal but you can also get through it in the menu so once you have it open, press 2 on the first menu screen, and then 3 on the second, and then 2 again on the third menu screen to uh, clone a website. I guess we'll try, um, say, Facebook. So anybody that's on this wireless network that goes to Facebook will be redirected through a fake uh, site. As long as the username and password is on the front page, then uh, this will work. Now, it doesn't clone the sites perfectly sometimes, uh, but uh, it'll take you, after you sign in, it'll take you directly into the site, so you'll never know that there was a problem. But uh, when somebody does that at this area, in this window, their username and password will pop up, and then you'll have their username and password, and they'll never know that that even took place. So if somebody were to say clone chase.com, you see the username and password is right on the front screen. And some people say, well, how do you uh, clone a site like this? But it's really easy to just get the page source information. And this is the blueprint to make that web page that you were just looking at. So if you have somebody with a personal site, their own website, they're hosting it themselves or something like that, uh, sometimes the cloner doesn't work exactly right. So to protect yourself, uh, definitely set up or disable the WPS password on your router. Look that up and set a password to your router software, which is at the 192.168.1.1, which nobody sets their password. They always leave it default. Uh, have a strong password and you can't you boy, it just it's too much of a hassle for people to try and hack long passwords.